Well, process for me, there's the making of what I make, and then there's the thinking about what I make. And they're, they're not mutually exclusive. I find that having my hands in the material helps me think about what I want to do with the material. So there are some artists who are very conceptually driven and they have ideas that they then match materials and processes to. But I, I start with a method that feels right um, and then as I make series of elements that can all go together to become a piece, I'm also drawing and I'm putting those drawings on the wall and I'm pressing tiles and I'm looking at the drawings and then I'm going back to, the, to these patterns that I make and then I'm arranging things and so there's a lot of kind of dialogue between the different things that I do as I make. Um, so the, the, the final product sort of evolves. I'm really interested in how our bodies and our minds interact and where, where one stops and where the other begins, which actually I don't think that there is a beginning or an end. I think that they're inextricably uh, intertwined and so uh, it's the same with making you know the, the the physical action is not really divorced from the thinking the creative process